Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime Midnight on the Moon is the eighth installment in Mary Pope Osborne's beloved Magic Tree House series, which was published in 1996. This series has been a staple in children's literature, introducing young readers to a world of adventure, history, and learning through the eyes of two siblings, Jack and Annie. In each book, the magical treehouse transports them to a different time and place, where they must solve puzzles or complete tasks. In Midnight on the Moon, the duo is taken on another worldly journey to the moon, far into the future. This book is particularly notable for blending fantasy with space science, sparking the imaginations of countless young readers while also subtly educating them about space exploration, the moon's environment, and the realities of life in space. The book continues Osborne's tradition of infusing her stories with educational content, while maintaining the excitement and suspense that keeps readers eagerly turning pages. Characters Jack, the older, more cautious sibling who often relies on research and logic to solve problems. Annie, the younger, more impulsive and adventurous sister who is always eager to dive into the action. Morgan Le Fay, the mysterious librarian who sends Jack and Annie on their time-traveling quests. Moon Man, a mysterious figure who appears on the moon and helps guide Jack and Annie. Moon Base Crew, astronauts who inhabit the lunar base, representing the future of space exploration. Book Summary The Moon Mission The story begins with Jack and Annie returning to the Magic Tree House, curious about their next mission. They find a note from Morgan Le Fay instructing them to find the fourth and final M thing to free her from a spell. The treehouse spins them through time and space, eventually landing in a futuristic world that Jack and Annie soon realize is the surface of the moon. As they look out the window, they are amazed to see the earth far away, glowing like a blue marble in the vastness of space. The description of the moon's barren, rocky landscape sets a tone of awe and mystery. Jack, always the researcher, pulls out a book about space to learn more, while Annie is ready to explore. This chapter sets the stage for their adventure, introducing the reader to the stark, otherworldly environment of the moon. The Space Suits Jack and Annie find a set of space suits in the treehouse, designed to keep them safe in the moon's harsh environment. They quickly put them on, marveling at how light and flexible they are compared to what they expected. Once suited up, they step out onto the lunar surface. The feeling of low gravity is both thrilling and strange, as they bounce with each step, experiencing the moon's reduced gravity. Jack, always the cautious one, reminds Annie of the importance of staying safe, but Annie's excitement is contagious, and soon they are both jumping and playing in the low gravity. However, the chapter ends on a more serious note as they realize they have a mission to complete, and the vast, Silent landscape suddenly feels more daunting. The Lunar Rover As they explore, Jack and Annie discover a lunar rover parked nearby. The vehicle is sleek and futuristic, designed for navigating the moon's rough terrain. Annie, ever the adventurous one, suggests they take it for a ride, and after some hesitation, Jack agrees. They hop into the rover and set off across the moon's surface. The chapter describes the incredible sights they encounter, craters, mountains, and the earth always looming large in the sky above them. They also begin to understand the loneliness of the moon, a place so different from the bustling life on earth. Jack starts to worry about how they will find the mysterious, M, thing on such a vast and desolate place. The chapter emphasizes the sense of isolation and the challenge of their task, blending the thrill of discovery with the seriousness of their mission. The Moon Man While driving, they come across a mysterious figure in the distance. At first, they are unsure if it's a trick of the light or something else. As they get closer, they see it's a person in a spacesuit, standing still, almost as if waiting for them. The figure doesn't speak but gestures for them to follow. Jack is wary, but Annie's curiosity wins out, and they decide to follow the moon man. The atmosphere is tense as they travel deeper into the lunar landscape, following this silent guide. Eventually, they arrive at a large dome structure, which appears to be a moon base. 
The chapter is filled with suspense as the children wonder who the Moon Man is and why he's helping them. This chapter adds a layer of mystery and intrigue, as Jack and Annie are led to a new, unexplored part of the moon. The Moon Base The Moon Man leads them into the Moon Base, where they are amazed by what they see. The base is a hub of activity, with astronauts moving about, conducting experiments, and living in this futuristic environment. The inside of the base is filled with advanced technology, including computers, screens displaying data from Earth, and various scientific instruments. Jack is fascinated by the technology and the idea of humans living on the moon, while Annie is more interested in the people and the idea of space travel. The moon man takes them to a special room where they see something that catches their eye, a mysterious object that glows with a soft light. They realize this must be the, um, thing they need to find. However, before they can take it, an alarm goes off, signaling a possible danger. The chapter combines elements of science fiction with the reality of space exploration, immersing the reader in the idea of a human presence on the moon. The Countdown The alarm is a warning that a solar flare is approaching, which could be deadly if they are caught outside on the moon's surface. The moon man quickly ushers Jack and Annie back into the rover, and they race against time to return to the treehouse. The chapter is filled with tension as the seconds tick down, and the children must rely on their quick thinking and the moon man's guidance to get back safely. The descriptions of the lunar landscape, the impending danger, and the sense of urgency create a high-stakes atmosphere. Jack and Annie's teamwork is crucial in this chapter as they work together to avoid disaster. The magic of the, M thing. As they reach the treehouse just in time, the solar flare begins to hit the moon. They can see the sky light up with a strange, eerie glow, but they are safe inside the treehouse. Jack and Annie place the, M thing, which turns out to be a special moonstone, in the middle of the floor, and the treehouse begins to spin. They are whisked away back to Frog Creek, leaving the moon behind. The magic of the treehouse, combined with the ancient power of the moonstone, breaks the spell that Morgan was under. When they arrive back home, they find Morgan Le Fay waiting for them, freed from the spell and grateful for their help. This chapter brings the adventure to a satisfying close, with a sense of accomplishment and the magic that ties the series together. Back to Earth Back in Frog Creek, Jack and Annie reflect on their incredible journey. They look up at the moon in the night sky, realizing just how far they've traveled and how much they've seen. They feel a deep connection to the moon and to the universe beyond, a sense of wonder that they will carry with them. Morgan Le Fay thanks them once more and tells them that their adventures are far from over. The book ends with Jack and Annie heading home, knowing that the magic treehouse will be waiting for them, ready to take them on their next adventure. The chapter leaves the reader with a sense of wonder and anticipation for what will come next. Themes Exploration and Discovery The book emphasizes the excitement and importance of exploration, whether it's discovering new places or learning about new things. Jack and Annie's journey to the moon symbolizes the human spirit of curiosity and the drive to explore the unknown. Teamwork and Cooperation Throughout their adventure, Jack and Annie must work together to overcome challenges. Their ability to combine their strengths, Jack's caution and knowledge with Annie's bravery and spontaneity, is key to their success. Courage in the face of the unknown, the story highlights the bravery required to venture into the unknown, whether it's traveling to the moon or facing a mysterious figure like the moon man Jack and Annie's courage is a central theme, showing that fear can be overcome through determination and trust. The power of knowledge, Jack's reliance on his book and their ability to understand the technology of the moon base underscore the importance of knowledge. The book promotes the idea that learning and information are powerful tools for overcoming challenges. Analysis Character Development Jack continues to grow as the logical, cautious older brother, using his knowledge to guide their actions. His ability to stay calm under pressure is critical to their success. Annie, her adventurous spirit and quick thinking are essential in the fast-paced environment of the moon. She becomes more adept at balancing her impulses with the need for caution. 
Structure The story follows a classic adventure structure, with the initial discovery, rising tension, climax, the solar flare, and resolution. This structure keeps young readers engaged and creates a satisfying narrative arc. Educational content The book subtly introduces scientific concepts related to space, the moon, and space exploration, making it both entertaining and informative for young readers. Imagery and setting The lunar setting is vividly described, creating a sense of wonder and otherworldliness that is central to the book's appeal. The contrast between the barren, silent moon and the bustling, vibrant life on Earth is particularly striking. Conclusion Midnight on the Moon by Mary Pope Osborne is a captivating blend of adventure, science, and magic. It takes young readers on a journey to a place most have only dreamed of, the moon, while teaching them valuable lessons about teamwork, courage, and the power of knowledge. The book's vivid descriptions, well-paced narrative, and engaging characters make it a standout entry in the Magic Treehouse series. Osborne's ability to combine fantasy with educational content ensures that readers are not only entertained but also enriched by the experience. The themes of exploration, cooperation, and the excitement of discovery resonate throughout the story, leaving readers eager for the next adventure with Jack and Annie. The End Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear's Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications. And leave your comments. See you in next book.